So Max got in trouble with the law. What happened? So we're just sitting here enjoying our uh, coffee that we percolated over the fire and uh, getting some videos uploaded to YouTube and uh, planning out our next move. And, um, and I can't stop looking at these trees. They're beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is free camping right here. If you look at these trees, it's like each one is a different work of art. These are like God's artwork on display right here. It's amazing. Just beautiful. Just hidden right here off the road. Not, like I said, you go a half a mile and you're right in all the modern conveniences. And Autumn says they're perfect to climb. That one over there, that was yeah. And then those three I was using to push myself up. Yeah, pretty cool. Got the covers, got tables, got fire rings. And you know what else is awesome? We got this whole thing to ourselves because we're not always. The whole thing's to yourself. Did you like having the whole thing to yourself last night? Honestly though, pretty much all campgrounds are campgrounds. Yeah, that's funny. Even Orlando. Even Orlando? Yeah. Because they have those lights and it looks like a human just staring at you with a light. No, she's talking crazy. No, no. Wow, look at they have these lights and it looks like a human staring at you, shining a light at you. Get your imagination going, huh? We have only had the occasional horseback rider or the occasional hiker like you see back there come by. I think four horseback riders yesterday, one this morning about 7.30, and then now this hiker come along at, I don't know what time is it? Flip them. Probably 9 okay. o'clock, 10 o'clock. Like Pretty peaceful. Here's one way to save a little water. This is nice, fresh spring water from a hand pump, just like we used to do when we were kids, before we got all that indoor plumbing. What do you think, Autumn? How's that feel? Good. Bring it back. Let's see your face. There she is. The refresh. Jumbotron for hit of the game. He didn't get the hit of the game. I, I was on the Jumbotron for the hit of the game. Uh -huh. That's all that we need to know. First, not the other team. Really. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, hey, <laughs> we, we don't have. Uh... All right, guys. Autumn, uh, where are we at? The taco bus. The taco bus, otherwise known as the bus, from Hillsboro. Avenue, the bus. Uh, on Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa, Florida. 
This is where I used to come to get lunch when uh, I used to work in Tampa, so I'm excited. Excited to get have some tacos, burritos, some salsa verde. All right, we'll catch up with you later. Oh look, they brought Max a bowl of water. How sweet. Alrighty. So the taco bus has gone upscale since I was here last. Alright. Now it's served out of that bus over there. It used to be we come up to this window here and I'll insert in the video a picture of the bus the way it was when I used to come here. I'll put it right here. So that's what the bus looked like when we used to come here for lunch at work. Still looks good though. So as you know, Jacob has been trying in vain to get Max to pee on every fire hydrant we've seen. Will today be the day? Yay! And, wow, so... And when he decided to do it, he finally decided to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. High five. Max, what are we all excited about? Max finally peed on a fire hydrant. So on the way to the beach, we decided to stop by Lazy Days RV in Tampa. This place is huge, 126 acres of RVs and we only had about 45 minutes before they closed. We got some footage of one of the mobile suites fifth wheels we looked at. It was awesome. The dog wouldn't be allowed in. So, Kimberly, we're gonna upgrade to a mobile suites. Let's it take a look. It has RV lock on it. It does? Let's take a look and find, okay. Oh, uh, the air conditioner works, so. Oh my god. You do air conditioning. Wowza. Oh. I don't know if you can get the perspective on how big this is. We pull this camera up here. Okay, like six I'm foot four giant man. Six foot four, three hundred and seventy pounds. And like what? there's a ton of room. Mm. Yeah, my hand. Look. That's crazy. Most it's houses closer. don't look like that. The confection oven. The yeah the convection. Wow. Only a hundred and seventy thousand now. You know it's yeah. not as much as I think. Huh? Little lighty lights under there. Is that a king size bed? That is all the way a king size bed. And look yes, at it's all the way walk around, like real walk around, like not real, the yeah. fake. Since they were about to close, we didn't get a chance to get any video footage of this Mesa Ridge, but it was the first front bunkhouse that we had seen, and it had a really neat looking like den in the front with couches that folded out into beds. The kids absolutely loved it. Parking is so limited at Clearwater Beach, we could not find a place to park for at least an hour. So we ended up dropping Kim and Jacob and Autumn off at the beach where they were able to enjoy the sunset and play in the water a little bit. While Max and I drove around to look for a parking spot. <laughs> Max is so tired of trying to find a parking spot. He can't even stand up. 
He's giving up on standing up. <laughs> Too funny. Well, we'll enjoy our time at the beach from the truck. Stand up. I am Sam. Alright, so over there is the gate with the lock on it that we go back into the woods there to where our, our campsite is on the water management area land. And you can see over here outside of the gate, there's uh, five or six um, trucks and horse trailers here. And uh, we've seen one horseback rider come through this morning and maybe uh, six hikers on our, on our last day here. So. Um, it's cool to see people using using the area and enjoying it, and it's neat to see that Florida has a place like this for people that are riding horses, for people that are hiking, and for people for people like us that are uh, using it for RVing purposes. Uh, pretty pretty neat piece of property. Lots of wildlife, lots of beautiful trees. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So uh, we just left our boondocking spot. Here in Hudson, Florida, and we're actually going down to kind of by Newport Ritchie, Florida, to uh, a fishing pier. 
time. We'll get the name of it to you in a little bit. What did they call it? The Ankhold Golf Pier? I think it's I the Ankhold know. Golf Pier. It's by the power plant up there. And it's uh, kind of the, the boys and I's old stomping grounds. When we lived here, we used to run up there and uh, fish for amberjack and shark. And then we'd run around in the, the flats and sometimes you'd see dolphins, that kind of thing. And we'd go in the flats and uh, get uh, blue crabs. So uh, we, a lot of good memories there, I know, for Jake probably doesn't remember it, but I'm sure that Sam and Wyatt remember it. So that's where we hooked into our first shark. So we're going to go in here, get some bait, and then we're heading to the pier. All right, J&J &J Bait and Tackle in Port Ritchie. There's the information. You can pause the video and get it if you want it. Uh, decent prices. Good tips. Enough said. We'll see you at the pier. <laughs> uh, we're here at the Ankle um, power plant, the pier right off of it. Behind me there is the power plant. And then there's this channel that comes down. And the water in here is warmer because it's used to cool the power plant and then discharge back to the ocean. Um, and so when it comes out, it's warmer. So this is where a lot of fish hang out in here as the water flows out and then if you look out here you can see this long pier that goes on out and uh, we'll we'll head up that way uh, here shortly but uh, on the left side is the channel it's a lot deeper you got sharks and all kinds of fish in there and on the right side of that is more uh, kind of flats with some uh, seagrass that kind of thing and that's where you can go scoop up blue crabs or uh, we're going to try for some flounder down there. Here the flounder bite is on. Autumn, you excited to try a new spot fishing? Yeah. This is where Sam and Wyatt and I used to come. Yeah. Back when you were just a little yeah. baby. Let's go. Probably like only five years Ready to go fishing? <laughs> Unfortunately, no dogs allowed, so Mother's going to hang with Max in the shade and read her book. hoping there's not smart fish in here. Yeah. We're looking for the dumb fish. Yeah. No. Look at that big old blue crab. That thing has got to be six inches across at least. This is what, what me and the boys used to go after here that I was talking about before. You can walk along grass, see them like that, and scoop them up. Scoop them up with a net, get a cooler full of these, and uh, that makes a nice dinner. You steam them up with some Old Bay. Pretty tasty. Totally cool looking. And just a size, oh, there he goes. So that guy is probably about 10 inches long. Very pretty. You're not afraid of anything, are you, big guy? He almost looks like he's groomed. He's kind of pretty. All right. Oh, he's limping. Look at his back leg. Yeah. He's making it though. So Max got in trouble with the law. What happened? We were relaxing at the picnic table under the tree, and he was underneath the table, 
and a park ranger you drove up and said that speak. he was only allowed to be at the dog park right over there. Yeah. Not here, on so, a leash. So Max was causing a big ruckus over here. Yeah. Max. It was disappointing. Yeah. Ooh, Florida uh, oh doesn't seem to be real dog friendly. Uh, individual businesses sometimes are. The, you know, we went to get um, the taco bus yesterday and we didn't even ask them. They brought out a dog bowl for them, uh, for Max with water. You know, Sometimes. restaurants do things like that. It's really nice, but the piers, the parks, stuff like that, they've got a dog park sometimes, but they're way off from yeah. anything. You can't even access all the things that people want to do with your dog. Yeah. And with everything I'm hearing about the dog flu, this is the last thing I want to deal with. So I'm not going to take him and put him in with a bunch of dogs and right. risk it. Right. It'd be really nice if you could access a lot of people activities with your pets, with your dogs. But um, unless you carry them in a pouch on your belly, you, you can't do that. The, the police officer last night on the pier down at uh, Clearwater did offer us to carry Max if we wanted to. But that's not really an option. All right. So we got a quick... Uh, invite um, to go meet with my cousin up in northern Florida. Uh, so we're going to try and do a record setting efficient uh, but safe and complete uh, hookup. Tear down camp and hook up and try and get out of here uh, in a timely manner. Thank you for watching. Please press the subscribe button on the screen. Um, Please leave a comment and like and share the video. Bye.